Hey everyone, and welcome to another installment of our trailer analysis video, Frame by Frame. I'm Coop, and I'll be guiding you through some of the more important scenes of the all-new Mass Effect 2 trailer. First things first, the ship from the original game, the Normandy, jumps into view. Not 100% sure, but this I'm looks a lot specialist. like the Citadel mission. from the original game, but at night. It's not going to be easy. If you actually zoom the in, there's O's on two large objects, that could mean that this is Omega Station, which is mentioned as sort of an evil counterpart to the Citadel in the original game. Shepard. After Shepard stops talking, it turns around to two Asaris, one of which mentions that Shepard is dead. You're dead. The other on the right actually has what looks almost like a force field armor in front of her armor, a little yellow blur in front of it. But you're dead. And there is Shepard. To his left, there's a new character. If you zoom in on his right eye, it almost looks like there's little pieces of metal. It could be a reflection, but I don't think it would be out of the question to think that there's some kind of robotics implants on him. And to his right is Tali Zor Noraya, which is a Gorian from the original game. A new weapon being shown off. It looks like a grenade launcher. It has a circular front. And in the next scene, if you look at his back, it looks like there's a circle there. I'm guessing that the grenade launcher scene in the previous clip actually folds up and goes on his back, and that's the same weapon. If you freeze it right here, you can see the new husks, which were in the original, but they look a lot better this time. The graphics in Mass Effect 2 are obviously much improved over the original. This clip, another new weapon, looks to have the same force field as the armor had in the clip before. The force field on the enemy's armor seems to match the force field from the earlier enemy's armor and the weapon, so it looks like there's a new type of equipment in the game. The enemy that dropped down, you can get a good look at his face here. He doesn't look like a geth, but he has the same dead expression as them. It actually has features of Asari and Turian, and Geth, so it's probably a new race altogether. Obviously taking a cue from Star Trek, there are lens flares everywhere. This looks like a shootout in the Citadel again, if you look at the skyline behind. Another new weapon being showed, it actually looks like energy is gathering above it and then shooting out. Another new enemy, or at least armor type, and there's an emblem on his head that matches the emblem earlier. Not sure what the emblem is, might be a mercenary group of some kind, but they haven't really hinted at anything like that yet. If you zoom in, it's Shepard, Tali, and the other guy that they haven't given a name yet walking towards this new enemy type, and he goes straight through the window, which is likely a choice, seeing as the game is all about making choices like that. After John left for E3, an extended version of the Mass Effect 2 trailer was released, so we're going to take a look at the additional footage, There's about 20 seconds of additional footage, and we're going to break that down as well. Okay, right here we see what looks Picking like a human a female standard. navigator for the Normandy, uh, someone we did not meet in the first game. As you can see, she's using sort of a minority report computer interface, uh, very similar to what tech users use in combat, that orange uh, kind of see-through user interface. She does have a voice, so hopefully that this is someone that we'll be able to speak to and interact with on board the Normandy, uh, something that was kind of lacking in the first game. Unidentified vessel. It's not the Geth. Now, Joker says a very key phrase right here. He says, it's not the Geth. This could mean that we will face an entirely new enemy in addition to the Geth, because we've already seen that there are Geth involved. Here we see the Normandy under heavy attack and then on fire. Uh, this will be the first time that we've had any real action on board the Normandy, so hopefully that translates over to some sort of space combat, whether it be ship-to-ship -ship combat or on board the Normandy, fighting your way out or trying to defend it. And here the Normandy is launching its escape pods. This could indicate that at some point the Normandy is destroyed during the game, or at least debilitated. Uh, leaving the question of how would Shepard and his crew get around. So, uh, interesting uh, possibility there. Now, Joker can say whatever he wants, but those are definitely Geth. Those are husks, specifically, which we saw in the first game. So, it looks like we will be facing Geth in addition to whatever new enemies Joker is facing. So, that's it for the Mass Effect 2 extended trailer. Uh, lots of stuff here to speculate about. Lots of cool looking stuff to look forward to in the next game. And uh, I'm sure this is something that a lot of people will be talking about up until we uh, get some more details on exactly who these enemies are and what the heck is happening with Shepard. Thanks a lot. Be sure to check back on GameRevision.com for more installments of Frame by Frame. And thank you for watching.